report claims the term Islamophobia is being used as an excuse to shut down debate. Published by Policy Exchange, it cites a number of examples, including criticism of Rishi Sunak by the Labour Muslim Network after the Prime Minister urged Labour MPs to call on Hamas and the Houthis to de-escalate the situation in the Middle East. The group claimed it was clear Islamophobia and was dangerous for the safety of Muslim officials and communities. Joining us now is Stephen Evans, the CEO of the National Secular Society. Thank you for being with us today, Stephen. Is the word Islamophobia a tool used to shut down criticism of Islam? Um, I think it can be. I think we found that it's it, it, it to be a really contentious concept because of two reasons, really. It confuses race and religion in the first instance. So Islam is a uh, religion. It's not a race. So that's problematic. Um, but it also conflates Islam with bigotry and hatred, hatred against Muslims. So, of course, people of all faiths and none should be protected from discrimination and from hostility. Um, but ideas and beliefs have to be open to criticism and ridicule. So the problem with this somewhat vague and nebulous term of Islamophobia is that it conflates all these things together. And so it obviously can be used um, by anyone that wishes to do so to shut down debate criticism and ridicule or anything offensive to Muslims. So that's the problem. Um, so yeah, it, we, we, that's why we've been opposed to the definition being adopted since it was first formulated by the, the all party uh, group on British Muslims in 2019, I think it was. Mm. And how, how can this be used by extremists to essentially shield themselves from criticism? Well, it can be used by anyone that wants to shut down conversation that they don't like. So we've seen, for example, um, Trevor Phillips was uh, hounded out of the Labour Party. He was actually suspended by the Labour Party after he commissioned polling about the attitudes of British Muslims, uh, which was thought to be not you know, particularly helpful for the, the PR of British Muslims. Um, Amanda Spielman, who was the head of Ofsted, she drew attention to some of the external outside pressure that schools were facing, uh, incidents such as Batley and uh, other instances where uh, relationships and sex education was opposed by uh, groups. So, you know, we had groups congregating outside schools and she just drew attention to that. And she was labelled Islamophobic for that. But we've also found, for example, the GCSE uh, pupil was disqualified from the exam because she made comments critiquing the Islamic form of uh, non-stun slaughter, so halal slaughter. And she criticised that in an RE paper, which should be, you know, a perfectly, you know, legitimate thing to do. But she was disqualified for Islamophobia. So, you know, the, we've got there's a whole host of people who found themselves on the receiving end of Islamophobia allegations. And in many cases, all they've been trying to do is just having an open and honest conversation about a religion that is having you know, quite an impact on British uh, political and public life. So it's really important that we are able to discuss these things openly and honestly. And what the, uh, you know, the term Islamophobia does is just make those conversations more difficult to have because people will not want to speak up on things they care about, things they feel deeply about, if it could lead to an accusation of racism. So that's the way it chills freedom of expression. No, Stephen, you make really, really important points there. Uh, thank you very much for coming on and talking us through it. Stephen Evans, the CEO of the National Secular Society. Now, I, in society today, we find it so easy to um, criticise or even mock Christianity. Um, there's a musical even about a... Well, I'm not sure if it's quite Christianity, but Mormonism and, and all sorts of religions. There is one religion that I think people always tiptoe around and don't feel like they could well i think if you if you even if you just look at the fact that there's a there's a teacher still in hiding for mm. showing a, a cartoon of the prophet muhammad and there are many people who said that that was islamophobic but of course what they're doing there is they're using islamophobia to essentially mean blasphemy and then applying it to the non-muslim mm. community so you can see why um, 
extremists would lean on that yes. um, as a way of essentially trying to control any kind of discourse around but there's um, a real... Islamism, Islam or extremism. There's a real live conversation here because this definition, it was actually written up by a cross-party group led by Anna Subri and Wes Streeting. The Labour Party has adopted it. Mm -hmm. uh, would this and, be... and a number of councils as well. It's a very, very troubling... Under troubling a new definition. government, would this be a, a, a massive chill on, on free speech and on the right, frankly, to criticise a religion? Almost certainly.